Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to do something called solving trigonometric equations. Just like in algebra, what we're doing here is solving for the unknown to make the equation come out right so that the left side equals the right side. In trigonometry, there usually are an infinite number of answers. So what we want to do is narrow it down to the angle, the, because in this case we're looking for the, the angle to make the left side equal to the right side. We're going to limit that to values between 0 and 360 degrees or between 0 and 2 pi. All right, that makes it easier. That way, usually, we come up with just one or a few answers. So solving this, what I'm going to do is move the 1 to the other side. So we can write this as the cosine of theta is equal to negative 1. So now we're looking for an angle theta so that when we take the cosine of it, we get negative 1. And we know there's only one value that fits the bill here. If we draw the unit circle, we have the x-axis here. We have the y-axis here. So we can say, whoop, that's a terrible looking x. Let me try that again. Here we go. So when we go 180 degrees and we get to this point right here, that's where the x value is equal to negative 1 and the y value is equal to 0. And so that's what we're looking for. When the x value equals negative 1, then theta must be 180 degrees, which in this case, 180 degrees would be pi. So in this case, theta must equal pi because the cosine of pi equals negative 1. Another way of doing the problem, we can say that theta is equal to the inverse cosine of negative 1, which means we're looking for the angle that makes the cosine of that angle equal to negative 1, which means the angle is 180 degrees or pi. So the answer here, pi would be the singular answer that we have for this particular equation. That's how we do that.